Okay, so I'm going to show you my favourite technique of how to contour. I'm going to use cream concealers by Iconic London and some highlights too. So, to start off with, I'm going to prep the skin with a moisturiser and I'm going to apply this using my hands. So first off, I'm prepping my model's skin using a, a really thin layer of moisturiser. I'm using my hands to make sure there's an even spread and making sure that all her skin is hydrated and moisturised. Once you've got your moisturiser on, you want to start with a fine base. You don't want to go too heavy as once you contour, you're adding layer by layer. So you want to start with a really natural soft base. I'm using a Bourjois Happy Light Foundation and I'm going to match it to my model's skin tone. The best way to match a foundation is to take a small bit of product and just apply it onto the jawline. If you twist your face for me here, you can see that that's a little bit too dark. It doesn't matter, you just take it off and choose a lighter shade. When it comes to matching skin tone, this is something that comes with a lot of practice. Um, at first it's a little bit difficult choosing the right shades and the right tones, but once you've done this, it becomes so easy and you can just grab a shade and match it straight away. With this one, I'm going to use the Armani Luminous Silk and this is in shade five. Once you're happy with the shade, you want to put a fine layer of foundation all over the face and then we can get onto the highlight and the contour. Once you've done your base, you can either use a buffing brush or like a beauty blender sponge and you just really want to buff it and push it into the skin. So I'm going to start off with the highlight and the highlight is going to be one shade lighter than your foundation. If you've got your cream concealer or your foundation stick or your powder, whatever you like to use, you just want to make sure that it's one shade lighter than the natural skin tone. You start off with underneath the eye.
want to create sort of small triangle shapes which will open up your face, highlighting your cheekbones and underneath your eye. If you're using a concealer stick or a foundation stick, it's always best to apply it to the brush before it goes onto the skin. The reason for that is if there is any impurities or any bacteria or blemishes in the skin, it can actually transfer across from the product to the skin. So keeping your brushes really, really clean and just using your brushes to apply keeps everything a lot more hygienic and clean. The next part you want to highlight is across the forehead. You don't want to take it too high because remember the highlight is what opens up your face. So you don't want to create too big a forehead or too big a cheeks. You just want to keep it really small and really subtle. Now just taking it down the bridge of the nose. and a small bit on the chin. Now taking my darker concealer stick and my brush, I'm going to apply the contour and the shadow. So remember the contour and the shading, this is the part to define the face under the cheekbones and the jawline. You can also contour around your forehead and your nose too if you'd like. Okay, so once you've set your lines of shade and contour, you want to blend it all in together, blending the highlight and the contour to give you that flawless finished look. To blend this, I'm going to use my iconic blender brush and I'm also going to use a beauty blender as well. I'm going to start off with the highlight, blending it out and into the contour.
taking a smaller brush, you want to blend in the nose. blending in all of the smaller areas that you couldn't reach with the bigger brush. And look up. So, <clears throat> so depending on how subtle and how strong you want the contoured and highlighted look to be, this is probably the most subtle look that again creates that soft, dewy, naturally contoured look. If you want to go a little bit harsher than this, you can and you can add powders on top of this as well. I'm now going to show you how to take it to the next step, creating a more defined look. I'm going to take my powder palette from NYX. I'm going to use the lighter colours to set all of the highlights. So starting with the under eye, I'm just going to press it down like this. And again, just taking it into those small triangle shapes underneath the eye. A lot of people do struggle with sort of oily under eyes, so you always want to make sure that you do set it with a powder. I'm now going to take the lighter powders and set the small little... <laughs> I'm now going to take the lighter powders to set the forehead along the side of the nose and the chin. Now the most important places to keep dewy and keep fresh are the cheekbones. You can have it along down the nose and slightly above on your forehead, but not in the middle. I'm now going to take my thicker fan brush and I'm going to use a mixture of the darker colours to emphasise the contour. I always just dab a little bit of the powder and the excess product off onto my arm so you can go in lighter and build it up layer by layer. always blend it down onto the neck especially if you have contoured the jawline you don't want to keep that sort of dark shadowy line underneath and not blend it down 
Okay, so some of you might like to use different highlighters, and again, I love both of these, one being liquid, one being powder. So I'm gonna show you on each side of my model's face the difference in highlighter and how the light captures it. I'm gonna start off with the Liquid Illuminizer by Iconic London. These are really, really gorgeous shades, and this is a sort of light golden. With this product, I'm going to use a blending brush. Uh, I'm going to use a blending sponge. It just really softly pats it into the skin, creating that sort of natural glow, not too harsh with sort of structured lines. So with this highlight, because it is liquid and because it is so gorgeous, it catches the light at any sort of given opportunity. It's really gorgeous in photography, really gorgeous in daylight, and perfect for the and perfect for bridal makeup. The next highlighter I'm going to use is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. I'm going to use dripping in gold and I'm going to use my iconic fan brush to show you how it works. With the highlighter you can take it up slightly further and along the brow bone. This creates a really nice shape and a really nice shine. The beauty of this fan brush is it creates a really lovely glow but with a subtle effect. Adding it layer by layer, this is the perfect brush to give you the perfect highlight. If you want to take the highlight further, you can highlight along the nose. With this I would emphasise you just want a really, really fine layer. So once you have your perfect highlight and contoured look, the best thing to do is to make it last all day is use your Urban Decay or any, any brand uh, setting spray. It's a really nice way to keep the makeup on without making it too powdered and too dry. Close your eyes. And there you go, your perfect highlight and contour.